In my recent review of the SpeedyB 20x20 stack, the F405 Mini, I reserved judgment on it because I didn't have an opportunity to fly it yet to see if it had elect enough electrical isolation equipment on the flight controller and in the ESC to make sure that it's not attacking the gyro uh, electrical um, circuit too much and causing messed up gyro readings. Well, today we're going to review some test results. I flew it on this craft you can see right there and did uh, 4S and some 6S testing. So let's see what the uh, let's see what the results show us. So this is the test setup. This is a racing rig. It's uh, 480 grams all up weight. And you can see I have the 20 by 20 stack loaded in there, the ESC for the Speedy B and then the flight controller on top. On top of that, we have a VTX um, and that's essentially it. And then a little Express LRS receiver there. You can see the EP or receiver in there. It's pretty straightforward. No cam, these are uh, Zing uh, 2207 motors. They are 2,400, uh, what, 50, 2,450 kV, you can see on there. And again, the 2,207s. There is a cap on here, probably not the best setup because you're, you know, the longer you have these leads away from the, you know, the, the basically the ESC, the worse it is. So, you know, I got some distance on there, but this is a 2,200 microfarad uh, 25 volt ESC. So it's not um, maybe the appropriate highest voltage. Usually you want to go for a 35 volt um, e cap for 6S, but you know, 2200 microfarads, a pretty decent sized cap. So a good size cap on here, uh, but the leads, yeah, you know, could be a little closer. I could have this mounted right up on and twisty tied up to this, to this um, post here in the back. So I did a couple flights with it and I recorded some logging. This logging here is at uh, 2000 Hertz sampling frequency uh, to two kilohertz sampling frequency. The first log here is on a 4S battery. And then what I did for the 6S is I just put a motor, a motor output limit cap of 66%. So the second log here is 6S. Just a little review here of what you'd look for because this is what I would do if I had a brand new quad regardless is I would go into here, uh, log it and do a hard flight. And what you're looking for is stuff like this. So you can see where the motor spikes on so trace template setup four. And whenever you just do a hard flip or a roll or even a slow flip or a roll and you don't see any, you see any kind of spiking up through here, like through the roll move, that's, that's bad. That's not good. That's probably a sign of a bad gyro. But if you see when the motors are spiking here for the motor output commands are spiking, that's gonna send a lot of electrical noise. And you can see a little bit going on right here, but it's not too bad. And looking on that on average, so we have a little bit there. Um, I don't really see anything on the, the back side of it and a little bit over here, but you don't see that that's really spiking too much. It's really on the entry of the move. And I'm not seeing any on the roll command. So just to look at this as a holistically, you know, on everything, the other thing you just do is look at the spectrum analysis. So the spectrum analysis, you can just click on these labels over here, the gyro scaled, and this would be a debug mode you'd set in black box to make sure you collect the raw motor noise. And in that one, and I actually did crash on this, so let me uh, let me clip that out. You can see here uh, this stuff down here. That's that's from my crash. So let me. I mean, got that clip. So to do that, you just go to the back end. You can see here's the here's the crash. So I'm gonna go ahead and I just kind of get clipped in the grass in the meadow and it sucked it in. So it didn't really damage it or anything. It just it just sucked it in. I'm not used to the really high camera angle that this race quad has. But uh, anyways, go back, click this again, and we'll do that spectrum analysis. And what you're looking for here as a total is you're gonna want to make sure that right here you don't have any uh, you know, uh, you don't see this big band. You almost want what I call this trough. And this trough should go from anywhere down, if you hold down shift, it's around the 20, 30 hertz band. You might have a little bit of something here for prop wash. And, you know, if you're doing some prop wash moves, you might have something around the 40 to 70 hertz range. So you could ignore that if you know you did prop wash stuff. And then uh, you definitely want to have a trough uh, depends. The, the the lighter weight and kind of smaller the quad, that you want that up to at least 200. Um, for a freestyle one, you'd want that up to like, I don't know, 120, 150-ish probably. You'd want that trough with this low band. And then this is all the motor noise coming in here. So you can see that's the roll access. Going into the pitch access, you can see a little bit more 
uh, bass uh, vibration in the gyro signal there, but, but you still have that trough and then the yaw axis here as well. I'll let that come up. In the yaw axis, we have a, a decent trough. Now there's a lot more noise on this one. That's just probably vibration, this quad's vibration, just has a lot more in the yaw axis. So that is 4S. If we go over to 6S real quick, just click onto that. Then it automatically, since I'm already on yaw, it ran that spectrum analysis so you can see yaw, and then we can run pitch. You can see here again, uh, trans trough, and then roll. So again, trough there. Now just to browse up through the, uh, you know, the 6S one here, you can kind of see those vibrations. Again, I don't see any bad, uh, you know, spiking going on on the roll axis. I don't see that here when I'm hitting these sharp stick moves, which would have the motors spike. You don't see it. Uh, I have to switch over to four. You can see if I put that right on where the spike is and then go back to zero, you can see that would be right in this area. And you can just kind of browse through and see that throughout this whole section here. So if I would say anything, there's maybe a little bit more on the pitch axis. So you can go to here. You can see there's a couple little spikily dikes going on there on the pitch axis, but not, not, not too bad. But it looks like there's a little something here. You can kind of see where the D term starts to get some oscillations in. It's nothing you can notice in flight. Uh, and then I don't see, really don't see, yeah, yeah, a little bit here. You can see it here when I'm doing a roll move, how the pitch axis is getting a little bit. So you can see the, the motor command spiking there. And then you go over to here and then the pitch axis is, is spiking up there just a little bit. Again, you wouldn't notice this in, in uh, you wouldn't notice it without black box. So we're kind of honing in real tight, but it looks like the pitch axis is again, a little bit more susceptible to some electrical noise. The roll axis definitely looks super clean. So what's my take on the Speedy B F405 Mini? I, I think it's worth a flyer, definitely. Uh, I think if you're looking for, I mean, this is the right price point, uh, 60 bucks for a whole stack, as you can see here, and it's at US stores at this point. So you can see I'm at race day quads here. Uh, the other thing, the other testing I saw is this gentleman right here check out his video uh on this stack what he does is he go ahead and spins it up and then puts something in the way of where the props are to simulate kind of a motor spike on the esc to see if it catches fire go check out his video bdb you know yet to see if you know how it's gonna you know last in the long haul it really does matter on you know, in the next six months from now, how it is. But if you are looking for a stack or looking to add, I, I think it, you know, with the feature set that this thing has, 60 bucks for the whole thing, you know, obviously depends on you, but I think it's worth a flyer. I'm going to leave it in my racing quad here. I think it's a decent stack. And again, the, what I'm seeing for electrical noise there is not a, you, you don't notice that. I'm really splitting hairs on it, but nevertheless, it is there and uh, you can see it for yourself. If you are interested in picking up this stack, I'm gonna drop some links down below. It is an affiliate link. Choose it if you like. Choose this, buy this stack, some else stack, whatever it else does support the channel. Hope this content was helpful for you. Thanks everybody, and I'll see you in the next one.